Well, this blast of winter weather is especially hard on the elderly, many of them trying to battle the elements on fixed income, struggling as best they can to stay warm. Tonight, Elliot Davis talks to one of those trying to survive the elements, as well as an organization trying to help them cope with the cold. The bitter cold is an agonizing time of year for the elderly, many of them dealing with challenges of health issues and limited resources. Deborah Williams is one of them. She had to get help to have heat in her Kirkwood apartment where she and her husband and her nephew live. It, it's hard. It, it wouldn't have got paid. My money is set out, it be gone. You know, I get paid at the first of the month. I'm here to tell you the fifth of the month, it's all over with. It's all over with. So coming with a new bill, it's impossible. It's impossible. So I was stuck. Deborah Williams was in the same boat as many other elderly residents, stuck with a high electric bill that she couldn't afford to pay. And like many other people, her family was faced with some pretty tough choices. Both she and her husband have disabilities. How tough was it just having that bill? I couldn't pay it. I could not pay it because just like I say, I'm, me and my husband, we fix income. Once you pay, your rent, once you pay, once you get some food, and then you're trying to keep the utilities going. Like thousands of other elderly people in need, she turned to heatupstlouis.org for help surviving the elements. They paid the $500 utility bill. Gentry Trotter, the founder of heatupstlouis.org, says the bitter cold is one of the toughest times of the year for the elderly. I'm worried about the ones who need to be reconnected. So there are a lot of people sitting at home now that are watching this on Fox 2. They need to get up in cold homes. In, in cold homes because they think, well, I can handle it. I can. You cannot beat Mother Nature. Mother Nature will beat you. So if you're one of those people in need, especially the elderly, you can turn to heatupstlouis.org. We'll give you that information on just how you can reach them to get help coping with the bitter cold. Elia Davis, Fox 2 News.